Well, I think a successful day for our defense is, is any time in a first game, especially with a first game and, uh, you know, a new defense, uh, our, our challenge out there will be get our kids playing fast, playing fast. And so we need to minimize what we're doing initially. And so I think mentally for us to be able to, to – Part of our goals is not allow explosive plays, all right? Be lined up, not metal, not many metal errors. So seeing our kids play fast and, uh, you know, being able to execute our basic scheme. Well, coming into the into the job, heard what a dynamic player he was, especially his limited exposure last year. Uh, just a very physical impact player, and I think he's shown us that in the few scrimmages we've had. He's flying around making plays and just being able to to get him, uh, you know, understand the defense. Him and Murph are two safeties. Safety is an important part of this defense. Came in and I think have done a great job this uh, this fall. Bobby Richardson, I think Bobby's very similar to Antonio and uh, in Murph in a sense he did not play much last spring, okay? But he has been as impressive as anybody we've had on the defense as far as what he's done, playmaking ability up front and his movement wise. So I'm, I'm looking for him to lead us, lead us pressure in the quarterback, lead, lead, being a great leader because I think he's stronger, bigger, and really has had a great fall and be an impact player against the run as well. Well, I, I think there's a lot of competition still in a lot of spots. You know, I think our in uh, in all our spots, we're, we've been able to rotate a lot of guys, and so, you know, with with the beginning of the season in our in our first uh, first month of the schedule, playing teams that are going to spread us out, all the teams we play spread us out. We're going to have to play multiple personnel, and so against Indiana State, certain certainly there's a expect the unexpected as far as what you're going to see. So we're going to have to play a lot of guys at every position. Well, I think the experience, I think there was a lot of positions last year where we were very inexperienced. Uh, uh, we played a lot of young guys that were freshmen, guys like Ralph Green, T.J. Simmons, uh, Marcus Oliver. Uh, a lot of young guys played, and now these guys are a year older. Uh, you know, while it is a new system, but we've been we've been executing the systems all spring and in, 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 uh, you know, 20 some practices in the fall. So. I think just that experience, I think they're they're playing with some enthusiasm right now. So I think that combined with just the experience they had playing last year should be beneficial. Are they executing the systems you're liking? Absolutely. Absolutely. And and we we've uh, you know, we put in uh, we continued to add on from the spring and the first twenty practices. In the last ten we've kind of pared back and, and, and really focusing on what's the best in this opener for our guys to prove. We want to be able to allow them to play fast. I'd say just over 50, but <laughs> no, I, I, I think that uh, our ability, to, you know, after these, after this first game is especially when you don't, the early in the season, you're not quite sure what you're going to get. you got to prepare for everything. So, obviously, we can't have a lot of our defense in. But there will be enough that our guys have executed all spring and all fall that we'll be able to play. So, I, I think right now that probably is a pretty accurate assessment of just over half. I know you guys want to play well defensively. But how much is there just pressure, or do you feel pressure, just to come out and make a statement that, hey, this is a different Indiana defense? Well, I, I think our kids want to. Our kids need confidence. You know, coming in last last spring, that's one of the things I noticed. Even in winter workouts, you know, when you, they had success, they gained confidence. And so, it'll be important for us to have success. All right, success early, because I think with with that success, they will have more confidence. They'll play faster, and and I, and I think that'll allow us continue as the season goes on to continue to implement more defense. Right. Uh, 
I think we've we've been an attack. You know, we're we're an attacking defense. Okay, so we're going to have the ability, and our kids know any any of them at any time can pressure. So, just the sense of of having that attacking mentality, you know, kind of I think builds the excitement for them. I think they, you know, from our our guys up front, especially our our new guys that are at edge positions, and 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 we're we're bringing corners at times, safety. So just the the attacking nature, I think, gives those guys an excitement. Is, is part of that also due to the fact that, that you have taken a defense that hasn't had a lot of confidence, and now they've got a little bit more? Is that why they've been able to win the day a lot in these practices? I, I think so. I think in, in, you know, for us, being able to play against our offense, you know, over and over, you know, when you come out and you're seeing a, seeing a new scheme, you know, uh, these first couple of games, and especially his first game, not exactly knowing, there may be some tentativeness initially, but we need to continue that aggressive nature we've shown, you know, throughout the spring. I think we won some days. Obviously, we keep track of every day. We've won some days in the spring and obviously the fall that we need to build on that just from a confidence. And I think just being an aggressive nature is going to help that. Have you ever installed the entire defense? I mean, or do you get no. to 80%? No, I, I think that, uh, you know, for us, um, you know, we're going to have a core a core package, but, you know, week to week there will, there will be tweaks as far as our ability to get off the field, especially down in distance situations when we get, you know, what we call our money down, third down. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be unique, and so that's where probably the majority of the, of the new implementation will come. Uh, any uneasiness at all with the – Sounds like almost a likelihood that you may you may end up essentially almost having like 20 starters on defense or 17 or 18, or is that is that customary for this this kind of a, this kind of uh, Well, no, I, I think that uh, you know in the past at times we've had 12 or 13 guys that have played the majority. I think right now just seeing exactly who's going to fit when we get live bullets. We've had a spring game, we've had a couple of scrimmages, but you know for the most part we haven't had a ton of live take guys to the ground, who's going to be able to, you know, play at the speed we need them to and, and down the ball. So I think there are some, you know, there's some young guys out there that may not even be on the two deep that, you know, will likely, you know, get some snaps here the first couple of weeks. I think one, one thing we do is we've, we've really implemented a, implemented a new tackling system and, and we've kind of modeled it off of, of uh, you know, some of the NFL films. And, and we, we practice it even with, you know, my particular, we each take a group, my particular group, I even work with the tight ends. And, and so we are focusing, even focusing not in pads, just being able to get ourselves in a good position. Uh, and I think that, that, that emphasis, I think, has been beneficial. Anytime I do line tackling drills with my guys, I see direct uh, correlation to those drills we've taught. So hopefully it'll, we'll see benefits on Saturday. Brian, because this defense hasn't been very successful over the past few years, is there any concern about leadership with this group? I, I think that is the key, of, you know, where we're going to identify that leadership on the field. You know, who is it going to be? Is it going to be a, a Bobby Richardson? Is it going to be a Nick Mangieri or David Cooper? We're going to have to see that leadership emerge because obviously there will be times when, when bad things happen and we need to see that leadership. And for us as coaches, that's what we're trying to, to, to challenge the kids, especially the guys, put those guys in those leadership positions. You know, who is going to be that guy on the field that may step up and make that big play when we're reeling a little bit? Or who's going to be the guy that controls those guys and, and settles them down out there? And so that's what we're kind of looking. A lot of times it's tough. We've got good corners and Tim Bennett. But, but a lot of times that has to come from some of the core guys. So we're looking at a Mangeria, Cooper, Richardson, some of those guys to really step up here early in the season.